Hey guys, this is Ryan the Geeky Veep. As we continue on here with our Power Query video series, I've got a really cool feature I want to show you today within the Power Query editor. It's the Unpivot feature. Um, so we're going to check that out today and I'll show you also how to filter. Um, filter is pretty easy, but the Unpivot is very, very cool. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here I have my report here. This is a finished report. Um, it was meant for, you know, the end user. It looks nice. I have the dates across the top, actual amount, budget, and the variance. These are the income results for 2017 um, for some company. Nice, but I really can't do a lot with this information the way it is, um, especially if I have another year I'm going to add in at some point. So I'm going to do something called, I'm going to unpivot all this information. So how do we do that? Well, we go to Power Query. We're going to input information from the table. Okay, and I do have headers. That's the dates. We'll click OK. All right, everything looks good. Okay, so we want this information down in a column. How do we do that? Well, we select the one area here, this column here, actual budget and variance. We're gonna unpivot all this other information. So we go to transform, unpivot columns. We're gonna hit the drop down here and we're gonna unpivot the other columns. And it gives us exactly what we want. Looks really good. We're gonna go ahead and rename this. We'll call it type. We'll name this date. And notice it is in text form. So we're going to right click, change type to date. And then the value, I think we're just gonna keep that the same. Um, and it looks like 1.2, that signals that it's a decimal, not a whole number. So let's hit change type and see what kind. Yep, it's already selected as a decimal number. So we're going to keep that. Okay, we like that. Only thing is we don't really want the variance in there. We can get rid of that. So we hit the filter, unselect the variance, hit OK. We like what we see. And so now we can go ahead and close and load. much nicer, uh, especially for those of you that like to work in a pivot table, this format, this columnar formatting is exactly what you want. Hopefully you found this video of value. We'll see you at the next time.